Hi beautiful Librans, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your full moon reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. Mindful, there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Librans, this is your full moon reading. It is a super moon and it is the last super moon of the year. It's in the sign of Aquarius and it can be a bit of a volatile energy. So expect the unexpected when it comes to this time period. Now it is a time for embracing the inner rebel within you and breaking free of any conventions or expectations. Uh, but we do have that energy from the sun, which is all about ego. And of course, Saturn, which is in retrograde and represents um, deconstruction. So be mindful that it can uh, make you feel a little bit more pressurized than usual, as well as a little bit more frustrated. Uh, some people may also get on your nerves a little bit more than usual and pr press your buttons. So watch out for that as well. A uh, very sensitive time for all of us, just so you're aware, collectively uh, we'll be feeling that pressure building. But as we move towards the 17th, of August, things tend to get a little bit easier and a little bit brighter in the energy. Uh, now, this is a message from your guides, what you need to be aware of over this uh, super moon period. Uh, but in particular, your fifth house will be starred, okay? Um, so this is the pursuit of pleasure, creativity, uh, all things dreamy, and it's also about having a good, a good time, but also good fortune, okay? Uh, so it is a peak manifestation period because we're also feeling uh, wonderful. Look at that, hopes and wishes, that card. It's a peak manifestation period because we do have the 8-8 portal that sort of is so close to the supermoon uh, that the energy merges, okay? So write down things that you've been trying to manifest, really see them, uh, feel them like you've got it in the now and you have uh, a a deep connection with, because um, the veil between worlds is very weak, let's put it that way, okay? It's very thin, shall I say, not uh, not weak, it's thin. So this is a time where your guides will also give you messages um, and help you uh, with any problems that you have been struggling with. They will give you pointers, omens, okay? Uh, so let's get straight to your cards. I'm gonna get all of your cards first before I connect to your energy. Uh, but this time period, as I said, is the pursuit of pleasure. Um, now, you also should be feeling that energy of the 11th house of hopes and wishes, um, also connecting to friendship circles, networking, um, also perhaps finding um, your voice on the internet. Uh, so that is something that is important as well during this time. Uh, some of you may actually set up businesses where you work from home or use the internet in order to advance in some way or get a second stream of income. I mean, you got the Clover card, which is all about wishes and, um, you know, getting some divine intervention. You've got the hopes and dreams card. Uh, I, I can't really call it. Um, I just noticed because I don't look at the cards until such time um, as uh, I've stopped shuffling because I'm looking in the water for images. And when I was doing a meditation for you all just before the reading, they showed me an anchor. OK, now I don't tend to mention it unless it comes up again in the reading, but they're showing me an anchor in the card. Um, so I can't really call it because it's shown up before I mentioned it. Uh, but they're definitely indicating a strength of emotions, uh, feeling a little bit more balanced than usual. And uh, I mean, you've got a little of fortune as well. Libra, get out there. I mean, I shouldn't really tell you what else I saw in the in the meditation because I don't want uh, if it doesn't come up in the reading I feel like it's not for you it tends to be energy that is passing through uh, so I let it go but I just saw someone say lucky ticket <laughs> okay in the meditation so you know that doesn't mean anyone's gonna win the lottery or anything like that it didn't give me that energy it was just like you know uh, the winning ticket kind of energy so um, 
Take that as it resonates. I'm just going to say that I don't want you all running out and spending your hard earned money. If it comes up in the energy again when I'm scrying, uh, then of course, then maybe it's a, a little, it's meaningful. Okay. Uh, but because you've got the Wheel of Fortune, you've got um, the Hopes, Dreams and Wishes card and you've got the Clover card. This is a very lucky time period for you. Okay. Now luck comes in many different forms. It doesn't mean someone's going to win the lottery or it doesn't mean um, that, you know, that there's, you know, there's, you're going to have millions in the bank. I mean, I wish we all could have that sort of energy um, sort of forecast towards us, but it can mean that something that you've been trying to focus on for a while works out in your favor and turns up in your physical realm. Okay. So be mindful what you're wishing for. Um, just going to get some final cards before we move forward. Uh, Knight of Wands, loving that energy. Uh, you're someone who's very bold, tenacious, um, you don't give up. Your commitment and your drive is second to none, is what they're showing me. Uh, yeah, Seven of Wands. You do not give up. Uh, they want me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please? Whoa, very explosive energy. And I'm not surprised to see the artist there as well. Libra, you're all about beauty and... Um, creativity, music, love, devotion, the dreamy energies. So I'm not surprised to see the artist there. And I have to say, it's not a coincidence. You know, we got the magician card and she's holding a paintbrush. So some of you are actually artists or some of you are connecting to your creative skills. They're just showing me how talented you are and how gifted you are at whatever it is you do. It doesn't mean you have to have a paintbrush in your hand, but what they're showing you is that you are creating your own destiny, okay? Uh, we all do it with our minds. Thoughts become things. It's so important. Um, yeah, sorry, there was just a little horn outside there with the car. I just uh, paused there to let it uh, go through. Um, our minds are so powerful. What we see in our mind, we can have in our hand. So, you know, sometimes when we feel a little bit low energy or we feel a little bit low vibe, we can start to catastrophize things. And we got to be careful about that because sometimes it's self-prophesizing. Sometimes we attract energy by thinking of the negative. But human condition, sometimes we think of the negative in order to prepare ourselves. So it's about finding that fine line or that balance. And Libra, you are the perfect person to be able to do that, okay? Um, so they show me how strong you are uh, and over this full moon period you may feel uh, a little bit more sensitive than usual but you will anchor your emotions you may feel um, your emotions ebb and rise there but you will uh, if you've been going through anything stressful uh, I feel like you're releasing that uh, you're becoming a little bit more grounded in your energy and you will find a solution okay but the first card here is the one who hesitates now it's also clarified by the mouse or mice, it says they're mice, but a uh, mouse, okay? So there's something here that perhaps you are uh, nervous or anxious about uh, doing. They're showing me that you, divine intervention occurs for you, and actually you're going to be really bold, brave, and go after it. Go after that thing that you has, that has been on your mind to accomplish, okay? Um, the one who hesitates, ponder, delay, confidence. So my beautiful Librans, you do find that balance between confidence and, of course, anxiety. Whenever we're trying to do something new and exciting, we all get a little bit nervous. We all start to feel those butterflies uh, and wonder, you know, is this the right direction? Am I on the right path? Um, is this direction right for me? So all those questions you have within you, you have to really center yourself and find out, um, is it... It's almost like, is it good fear or is it negative fear, okay? Because fear um, tells us we're doing something radically to change our circumstances, which can be exhilarating. And some people sometimes misconstrue that as anxiety, okay? But um, we're pushing boundaries. And I see you actually pushing boundaries, overcoming obstacles. But if there's any worry here, uh, I feel like you've got divine intervention in a, in a situation that shows that you're in a really good position and actually you're having the confidence to move forward and smash any goal that you, you set your mind to, set your task to, okay? But as you can see, the more you wait, the more nervous you become or the more anxious you become. So for example, if you are wanting to, I don't know, because we've got an anchor here, this could be that you're planting roots somewhere, you're thinking about buying a home or thinking about relocating and maybe you're looking at the property. I mean, everyone's looking at the property uh, right now, the property bubble, is it going to burst, all those sort of things. So you may be actually waiting um, in terms of um, waiting for the right moment to move, to buy something or even to sell something. Uh, it doesn't have to be that, but I'm just giving you an example 
example of you know keeping your eye on something but pondering it before you take um, the necessary steps and the more you wait the more anxiety we start to feel so I feel like you're taking back the power over this super full moon period and you're having faith that all will conspire on your behalf and you will accomplish whatever it is you set out to do okay but this is your protagonist energy there's something here um, that is making you a little bit nervous. Uh, the mouse card, of course, is about anxiety or worry. Um, no playing small. Okay, my beautiful Librans, they're indicating you're not the sort of person to, to play small. Now, deep down, you may be anxious about something, but you always feel the fear and do it anyway. The Knight of Wands says you've got a goal in mind and you're going to accomplish it. You're going to smash it right out of the park. Okay, you're someone who is very determined. Um, and very powerful you lead with your passion also you're a very independent creative spirit okay very headstrong unstoppable in your energy so yes it is a case of feel the fear and do it anyway um, over the full moon period of course um, super moons in particular make us feel very sensitive and we are processing a lot of emotions a lot of shadow side as well a lot of fears do raise their ugly heads even if we feel like we've processed them in um, our past sometimes with super moon energy they do come back up just to see trigger us to see if we've actually got past it's almost like a test okay um, I feel like you're passing the test with flying colors whatever this is um, and there's a wonderful opportunity headed your way that brings really good luck now as I'm holding this card they're actually showing me a grasshopper in the water okay grasshopper so grasshoppers are actually about good fortune uh, maybe even a period of thought um, in deep contemplation before leaping, taking a leap of faith, or um, I feel like it's opportunity knocks kind of energy for you. Uh, I also feel like the grasshopper is going to be a sign or a signifier for you over the next four to five weeks. You may see one on your path, okay? Um, I think feel, feel it's going to be like one where you're walking and then you're like, oh, it's a grasshopper. And you sort of like, because the way they show me in the water, it's like, you don't quite see it at first, it catches your eye, and then all of a sudden it's in your viewpoint. I feel like you catch it out of the side of your eye and then you go to focus on it, okay? That's the way they're showing me in the water. So look out for a grasshopper, okay? You will be visited. It's one of the signs from spirit that they are with you and that they are showing you that you are elevating or about to take some sort of major leap in your life that is going to bring good fortune, okay? Um, now. Sorry, they're just, give me something, one moment, please. Okay, thanks so much, I'm sure grateful. Now, some of you, and this is not gonna resonate for all of you, but there is, I'm getting a small percentage in the water of some of you worried about some sort of health thing, and you may be holding off, going to see about it. It's important that you just go and see about it. Not that there's anything wrong or anything negative, but it's to allay your fears, okay? Because the more you, worry about something the bigger it becomes in your mind and perhaps it is the thing that is also amplifying your feelings of feeling unwell okay sometimes the mice card or the mouse card can be about unwellness um so if you're worried about some sort of health issue i mean i see you actually going to see about it uh eventually you may have been putting this off but it's just been causing you stress and it keeps coming back on your mind so i feel like to allay your fears uh, it works out in your favor. It's all, they're just showing me it's best to go see about it just to, yeah, stop worrying about it. That's what I'm getting. Okay. That's not going to be for everyone, but if there's a little like thing that's on your mind, just go check it out if you can, of course. Um, you know, so that's coming up there. Now we've got the wheel of fortune, your protagonist energy. This is a card when in this position, it means you're the sort of person, Libra, you make your own luck. You may uh, believe in divine timing. You also may believe in fate and destiny, but it's going to show you that you're making your own luck. And there's another anchor there as well. Wow, I've just noticed that. Okay, another anchor. Anchors are important. You may see one as a symbolizer. Uh, it's a big one. They're actually showing me uh, a big anchor. You'll see a big anchor. I mean, this could be that you're walking downtown and there's a sculpture of an anchor because that's what they're showing me right now. Um, or it can mean that something comes up regarding anchors. The way, the way they're showing it to me at the moment, it's like a sculpture, okay? Um, and it's kind of on its side. Um, so, I mean, that may not resonate for everyone, but I feel uh, an anchor is important, which of course, anchors mean stability. Uh, they mean uh, groundedness. It means, you know, anchoring your emotions, but also 
during um, tough times because you know ships they tend to anchor whenever there's like um, when they're birthing of course but also um, when they want to keep a position they want to maintain their position so uh, I feel like this is you putting yourself in a really good position uh, but the Wheel of Fortune I feel you're on the up you're having a turning point in your life over the next four to five weeks that brings a lot of prosperity so you being the sort of person where you feel you know what I'm gonna get out there I'm going to um, make my own luck then the luck shows up for you okay so I feel like you're busy doing something focusing on something the super moon is actually going to enhance that for you now not every sign gets like plain sailing during this period but it looks like luck is on your side during this um sort of bumpy super moon energy uh, i feel a lot of you are having faith that you are actually turning uh the wheel of fortune in your favor i mean if you have a look there you've got the four leaf clover and then of course you've got the clover card so i feel like you're forcing your hand to make your own luck and I feel this is you turning a point in your life and actually because you're taking control of your fears and you're taking control of your destiny, you're transforming your circumstances and bringing the luck, attracting the luck in itself, okay? So expect a lot of destiny meeting fate and you being ready for these opportunities. Uh, this can be like suddenly there is an opportunity, suddenly there's success, suddenly there is like synchronicity in your world. Uh, they wanted me to give you this number. 0110 zero, 0110 zero, one, one, zero. Zero, yeah 0110 is what they're showing me in the water okay okay and now I'm getting a song as well at the same time you ain't seen nothing yet it kind of goes oh baby baby it kind of goes baby baby or something like that uh you ain't seen nothing yet okay thanks so much i'm truly grateful okay so they're just giving me that part of the song and they want you to be aware that this song what they're saying is this is not a love song so i, I think uh i mean i haven't heard this song in a long time um and i can't really tell you what the other lyrics are so perhaps they're indicating that that song is normally a love song i'll have to check it up online to see what it's about uh but you ain't seen nothing yet. I mean, that doesn't really sound like a love song, does it? Um, so I feel like there's more to come. There's more good luck to come. That's what I feel that song is kind of indicating with the energy. Now, this song also is something to look out for. So either you just heard that song or you're about to hear it after this reading, or you're going to hear it as you're in the store or as you're walking down the road and someone drives past and the song is playing. Listen out for that song. It means divine intervention your luck is changing for the better okay you're entering a new cycle of good karma okay and balance harmony um you're going to see a lot of meaningful coincidences those numbers zero one one zero i think they gave you yeah zero one one zero i think that was it um but this is also a card of you either taking a risk and it paying off or a gamble some sort of gamble and it paying off you know i don't they just gave me the image that I saw in the meditation, which was the lucky ticket, okay? So, um, again, I would like to say not everybody's going to go out there and win the lottery, okay? I just want to say it like that. It may be, I mean, the lucky, lucky ticket may be that you won a prize at a raffle. It could be that you, because I want to keep the readings grounded. I don't want everyone to be going off there going like, yeah, I'm going to win the lottery right now. I mean, I wish you all could if that's what you're hoping for. But I want to keep it grounded in the energy that I feel it could be something that you've involved yourself in and you win it. Whether it's a job opportunity or whether it is um, a lucky break somewhere or maybe you ring into a radio station for a competition or something like that. I mean, something that is competitive because we've got the seven of wands here, something that's competitive that you've been dreaming of, you are going to accomplish it. You're going to win it. You're going to be really proud of yourself okay so that's all I'm gonna say on that I'm not saying everybody's gonna win the lottery so I'm gonna just move on there okay uh, but your luck is changing for the better um, and look out for a, an anchor now we got the knight of wands you are determined to succeed you have an unstoppable energy when you set your mind to something but you may have been feeling a little bit low energy or lack of energy recently you're going to power up in the next four to five weeks uh, the knight of wands is someone who um 
needs to trust in their vision, my beautiful Libra. And so if you've got new ideas or you're connecting to some sort of new creative project or even you're setting something up, it's going to be very for, uh, fortuitous, fortuitous. Sorry, I'm just crying at the same time and channeling. So they just gave me a word of uh, fortuitous, but I stumbled there. So I was not expecting that word. Um, the Knight of Wands is someone who is courageous, some, someone who's bold. You're not reckless, but I feel like you're seeking a new adventure. You're trying to shake up the everyday because you may have felt like you've been in a bit of a humdrum energy and a repetitive cycle, and you want a new cycle of a little bit more adventure, a little bit more power, that you feel a little bit more in control of things. And this is a card of optimism as well. Some of you may actually be traveling because um, the Knight of Wands can connect to movement forward, but this is a very goal-oriented night. So whatever your goal is, whatever your focus is, this is you accomplishing the task that you set yourself at hand and smashing it way out of the park, okay? And even manifesting more. So this is a card of you being unstoppable and sort of like rising up this power within you and setting forth on your journey. You're an innovator, they just said. You're an innovator. So some of you may be actually setting up your own business. You may have been too worried or nervous about doing that because of the mouse energy or that hesitation energy. Whatever it is you've been hesitating to perhaps connect to, um, it doesn't mean that you're afraid of it. It just means that you're waiting for the right moment. Intuitively, instinctively, you will know, okay? Some of you actually may be trying to build knowledge in some area before you launch something. So I feel this is a very good time for you to gather that strength from within and just go for it, okay? Because I feel like you're going to hit the right ground running. The Knight of Wands is someone who is um, sets himself uh, a task and actually accomplishes it and then is on to the next. Some of you may actually want to connect to freelance work or you're trying to connect to something that's a little bit more enjoyable, maybe maybe travel. For those of you who are retired, for example, you may be taking a new direction in life and you're starting something new and you feel that joy de vivre, that energy where you are seeing where your visions take you, where your finances take you and you know, bring a little bit more um, freedom into your life. Um, you know, embracing that inner rebel kind of energy. Um, now, we've also got the one who hopes. Love, hope, relationships. So when you got the hope card, I mean, she's making a wish here. Of course, this card is connected to like wishing for love. Um, you may have disconnected for, from love for a long time or felt a little bit like disconnected from your center, okay? Um, but that's all about to change over the next, well, over the next four or five days is what they're showing me for this. Um, what you're hoping for is coming towards you, okay? Uh, now, whether you're hoping for a relationship and you're very, very shy, I feel like you're actually getting yourself out there, connecting to people or groups. It doesn't have to be in terms of, you know, you're going on a dating spree or you're going out to go on like, what do you call it, speed dating or things like that. But I feel like you're putting yourself out there or you're building the courage to take a new path when it comes to looking for love. For those of you who are in a loving relationship already, there may have been some stresses. We've got the Ten of Wands there. There may have been some worldly stresses that you and your partner have been on. But I do feel that both of you anchor each other and you support each other and you find a way to lift each other up, okay? Uh, but something you've been wishing for is it's been in delay or it hasn't shown up for you for a while because this is the resistance position. It's showing up for you by the end of August because we've got that um, four leaf clover there. So it's like a wish is being granted. There is good luck for you. Uh, now we also of course have the anchor that I keep talking about. This is about stability. You may have felt, um, when I was starting your reading, I felt a little bit disorientated, okay? And it happened twice. So there was an energy perhaps I'm picking up of you sort of searching for a direction or feeling a little bit lost in some area of your life. Could be your love life, doesn't have to be, but it could be something you've been wishing for. You felt emotionally um, there's been an upheaval or you're trying to ground yourself. Um, you will find stability, but I feel like you're anchoring your own emotions. You're someone who is very, very sensitive, very strong, very... Um, emotional, but also someone who's very artistic. So you can actually use your emotions to inform your work, whatever it is that you do. Some of you are embracing your spiritual gifts and really looking at some of the things that you worry about or that you fear, you're looking at them head on over that supermoon period. So you're taking the courage to look at it, resolve it, absolve it, 
and move on from it. So with this anchor, I feel there's definitely a grounding uh, over that uh, supermoon period. Now, of course, you're at the heart of this, my beautiful Librans. We've got the Justice card. So if anyone has been unkind to you or unfair to you, or you felt there's been no balance, or you felt um, people are not taking accountability for their actions in your life, or there's been an untruth, it will be revealed. Okay, something you had a hunch on, it will be revealed. Uh, the Justice card is also a card of um, things changing, but you being in charge of that change, having to make a decision. So if you're wrestling with something you have to make a decision on, this is an indication uh, to ground yourself. There's a new start available for you, okay? I feel like it may be stressful while you're actually trying to make the decision, um, but once you have decided what you want to do, you make adjustments and things get easier because it's like these cards are in the reverse, okay? So it's basically like the Justice card says um, it's difficult to make these adjustments or there's been a lack of balance or you feel like things have not been fair or equal in your life, but you're going to find that equality. You're going to find a situation that is grounding. Uh, now, also, if some of you have been going through some sort of legalities, it does mean um, that um, these things have been going on for a while and you are hoping for resolution, things work out in your favor, okay? There's a real positive shift to this. Whatever you think about, you bring about, especially since you've got the artist card. This means that your mind is so fertile and that the images that you see, you're actually attracting them, okay? So be mindful. And you see this artist here dreaming of stability, that tree. So I feel like stability is something that, of course, you are connecting to right now. Um, now, of course, the world is a very crazy place right now, and it's always been that way, but it's amped up the craziness in the last couple of years. Um, so I feel like you are trying to find your grounding in a world that is ever changing, okay? And I'm talking about changes all over the place, not just in terms of finances and things like that, but in terms of your spirit, in terms of your uh, development, your personal development. Collectively, we've all gone through a major trauma in the last couple of years. Things that we never imagined would happen in our lifetime have really spun us out. Some people were prepared, some people were not so prepared, and other people are still trying to recoup and refine their way through these difficulties. You will find your way, my beautiful Librans, not only because you're putting yourself in a really good position but also there is some luck on your side okay divine intervention is occurring for you you will have what you need they want you to be aware of that okay but remember not to catastrophize about things because the more you worry the more you attract things to be worried about okay you are actually changing your luck and you're being um i feel like you're taking the initiative to go after something and accomplish it and it puts you in a really good position now the ten of wands here in this position indicates a lot of stress or worry or you've been going through like um a lot of burdens okay you're exhausted i feel like you've been doing so much i mean i feel like it's mo emotionally and physically exhausted my beautiful librans so you may be experiencing some sort of burnout over the uh supermoon period. This will pass. You will feel rejuvenated and energized because remember it gets turned up in the, it's like it gets turned up. So there's a new start. You're clearing space. Now remember also my beautiful Librans, not to overcommit yourself, especially when you're feeling like you have to focus on you at this time. It's not a selfish act. It's all about priorities. Okay. We can prioritize our own time. It is our own journey. We can also extend our kindness and our love and our care, attention and time to other people, but make sure that you are operating on full speed yourself. Okay. Because you cannot offer things to other people if you're running low or on empty yourself. Okay. Um, so just be mindful of that. Take some time to rest and recalibrate, rebalance and ground your emotions, especially when it comes to love. I would say, um, in relationships, don't over give, don't over commit yourself. Make sure there's reciprocity. Cause I feel like those are the things that are going to surface for you over the next four to five weeks. Uh, things that you may be thinking of like job situation, relationships, friendships, loving, uh, connections, that sort of thing. You're going to be looking at reciprocity in all those areas and finding the balance between the two. Okay. Now for some of you, if you're looking for a new job, there's definitely one showing up, but I feel like this is something that you're going after at high speed and you accomplish it. Okay. So if you put your resume out there and you're seeking opportunities, there's one showing up for you. Um, one where I see that you've 
it's almost like you've brought it to life with your visions. It's something you've been manifesting. And I feel your talent is a thing that is attracting this, so do not doubt your wonderful self. For those of you who are not looking for a job, for example, I feel like you're thriving at where you're at. And I feel you're just trying to explore new ways of enjoying yourself through what you do. Some of you may actually be checking out um, your environment, whether it's a new environment, if you've just moved or if you're about to move. Uh, it could also be that you're exploring further afield in your neighborhood to uh, sort of connect to new places, new situations. Uh, now we got the one who remains and it's powerful, devotion, true worth. So this is another thing that's important. You're grounding yourself. You know that you're worth more in situations and you're not afraid to go after those things or allow those things to be attracted to you, okay? There's a fine line between taking the initiative and sitting back and allowing abundance to come towards you. And I find that you are going to hit that sweet spot over the next four to five weeks. But this is someone who remains. You don't hide away from problems. You solve them. You're the sort of person who... Um, meets life head on, okay? And you're very fair, you're very honest, you're someone who is leading with integrity. And if someone is, I just wanna say this, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, sometimes when someone takes advantage of you, my beautiful Librans, sometimes, I mean, yes, you cut them off, but I feel sometimes you give some people a little bit more um, than they deserve. And by that, I mean, you want to believe in the best in a person. So you give them the benefit of the doubt and then they kind of like take advantage of you again. So just be a little bit mindful of that energy. Um, but I feel there's just a little bit more of an independent energy about you in the next four to five weeks. So some of you may actually be, um, you know, setting up a new project or um, something you've been asking for divine intervention and a really stressful situation gets ironed out for you and it turns out to be very, very positive. Uh, we got the Clover, of course, all about luck, um, divine intervention. The Wheel of Fortune really is starring you during this period and not many signs got good energy for uh, the Aquarius uh, supermoon. So you are being bestowed on um, benevolent energy. You're getting very benevolent energy. Um, sorry, they're just giving me something, one moment, please. They're just showing me someone sh tying up their shoelaces. Very odd um, connection between the two cards. So either you're listening to this reading and you're actually tying your shoelaces as you're listening to this reading. I mean, it could also, uh, when you tie up your shoelaces, you're about to go somewhere, right? You're about to you're about to set off on a journey or you're about to get out there and do, do something awesome. So maybe it's about getting ready, getting prepared, because that's what luck is. Luck is, you know, destiny and fate intervening, but you're prepared for it. It's like opportunity meets preparation. So I feel like this is what you're in a state of flow and and it's almost like you're embracing in your life. But I, I feel like you've got this maverick energy about you as well. You are embracing that inner rebel. You're standing true to your authentic self. And so, for example, some of you may be like, you know what? If someone at work, I'm just going to give you an example. If someone at work is laying a lot of extra work on you, they're overloading you and you feel like it's not fair. I feel like you find a solution by saying, hey, I'm happy to do the work. But if I'm doing the work of four people, then you've got to at least pay me the salary of two. Because right now you're only paying me my salary and that's not going to help everybody because I'm just going to walk because I deserve better. So I just feel like there's this energy of you saying enough is enough. Okay, stop putting all this pressure on me because this time period is about pressure building up until it comes to breaking point and then we have a wonderful sort of uh, peaceful energy afterwards where everything gets settled. So I feel like you're using that energy to transform your luck rather than get frustrated or angry. So I feel like you're using this time period as a conduit for good things or a catalyst to change things for the better for yourself. Uh, I mean, you've got a lot of major arcanas here. Okay, um, and I'm talking about like this energy, it's like you know you deserve the best. Your focus is on being successful or building confidence or accomplishing something. You're using your skills, very creative time. You've got the Empress here and you've got the Magician. The Empress is about knowing your worth. And also a lot of you are gonna be connecting to healthier diets, uh, exercise routines, and building healthy boundaries when it comes to friendships and situations, 
uh, or you know situations at work but you're using your innate knowledge a lot of you are going to want to connect to nature as well uh, you feel a calling to nature i feel woodland is important for you all to get out into i mean it could be a park for all i know that i'm seeing right now but it it looks like it's a very sort of dense part of a park I, I feel like it leads into the woodland energy so some of you may be called to go on woodland walk, walks with your friends or something like that um, but the Empress energy is all about your potential fulfilling your potential very productive time for you you're going to be in a state of doing but it's going to be like natural to you it doesn't feel forced uh, this could also be prosperity and material gain um, but I feel this is you connecting to creativity I mean you've got all the cards you've got all the cards of creativity here you creating your own destiny, being in the flow. You can accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. Yes, things are unbalanced in the world right now. And yes, things are unfair. But I feel like you're still forging a way. You're still finding a way to thrive, even in uncertain circumstances, okay? Um, now, with that Empress energy and the Magician, this shows me that you're using your skills and your talents to create something really wonderful. Your ability to um, be successful is off the charts. This is about you making shrewd decisions and having the power, having the ca capability to use your talent in whatever area of life you are called to and you make it work, okay? So some of you are using your intuitive skills um, to um, do something beautiful either with your hands so that you create something or it could be that you are someone who actually helps people solve their problems. Um, also, I feel some of you may ca be called to being like a travel blogger or something like that because I feel like, I feel almost like I want to do something on the move. So some of you may be investigating right now how to uh, do lesser hours uh, but travel at the same time, how to work, combine work and play. Okay, so I feel like that maybe something that you are trying to focus on. But as you can see, she's got all the tools there to overcome any obstacles. The, the mountain in the background, uh, she will accomplish that. She will actually uh, conquer that mountain. Um, sorry, they want me to have a look on this uh, card a little bit closer. One moment, please. Okay, they're showing me the symbol of her belt. It's two, I mean, it looks like two circles entwined. They're showing me this is an important symbol for you. Two circles entwined. I mean, it doesn't quite look like rings as in engagement or wedding bands. It doesn't look like that. It looks like there's like a piece missing from the circle on one of them. Maybe even both, I'm not really sure. So look out for that. Two circles with a little piece missing. They're sort of connected in some way. They're connected, but there's a piece missing. Maybe it's about, you know, you know that puzzle and there's like, it, it appears that it's all circular, but actually there's like a piece missing that you can actually remove the circles from each other like magic because it's the magician. I don't know what they're trying to give me, to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, it's, it could be a symbol to help you. Uh, Seven of Wands, you never give up, okay? This is about you staying true to who you are and not conforming. You're living life on your own terms and you're not a people pleaser, my beautiful Librans. Also, this is a card of going the distance, persevering, being unstoppable. You've got two cards of being unstoppable and you've got major arcanas that tell me that you've got luck on your side and your visions, your ideas are actually valuable. Not just valuable, in the localized form but in terms of the world you have something to say or you have a gift that you can offer um people around you and it helps change the vibrations okay so you are necessary it is important what you do uh this card is a card of finding inspired solutions to any problems as well um when you get this card i feel it reminds you not to resist the temptation um sorry to release the temptation to resist challenges because challenges are the thing that make you stronger challenges are the thing that forge your personality challenges are the things that will take you to where you want to go it's almost like you're making the impossible possible okay um now the seven of wands and the artist together you're a visionary but sometimes you feel a little bit guarded or you feel a little bit worried about um i don't want to say that you feel worried about being judged 
but I feel sometimes you have a lack of confidence um, that may hold you back a little bit. It's only moments, it's not all the time. Um, so sometimes, or if there's competitive, there's a competitive edge, you may feel like there's so much competition that maybe you shouldn't do something, but actually that's the reason to do something because you're actually above the competition. They want you to be aware of that. Um, but there's something here that you're not giving up on. And whilst it has been a journey, it has been real, a real journey, been very stressful there, they're showing me it's going to work out. It's going, you're actually coming to a point now where things are starting to lock down and be evidence on the physical plane that it's working for you, okay? Uh, I said the artist is the visionary, so whatever you're dreaming about, you're manifesting. And I feel if you're, if you're looking for stability, I'm gonna pull a quick card there because I'm just getting this energy that if you're looking for stability, um, you're putting yourself in a really good position for that. But I, I feel this is about, I mean, all your cards are about good luck or a good turn of events turning stressful situations around and finding solutions. Um, I just want to see if there's anything more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Anything more for my beautiful Librans? The Knight of Wands. It is what it is. Okay, they're giving me the same cards there. Knight of Wands. Unstoppable. Goal-oriented. Focusing on accomplishments. And that you're going to smash things out of the park. Very creative time for you. Um, some of you may actually uh, be determined for a new adventure or be seeking new adventure. You may actually um, go into like an independent field when it comes to your work. Ace of Pentacles, you're not doing it for the money. In my mind, I'm thinking about money. Show us like energy about money, but they're showing me you're not really thinking about money. Uh, it's more that you want to be fulfilled. Now, of course, money is important. We all need money, especially in these days where everything's sort of amplifying around us. But I feel it's more that um, you're connecting more to a sense of self and what's enjoyable. So, I mean, it doesn't mean there's not money coming. It just means that this full moon period, these are the things that you're more focused on. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, I mean, in the reverse, it can mean that there is a little bit of worry about money or you could be stressing about money. But it's it's like worry is going to leave you lead you to a lot of mental conflict. It's just going to be energy that we cannot get back. And it's much more important to stream your energy into something that you can do rather than something that you cannot do about it. You know, worry is sitting there and just sort of like catastrophizing. It's about you being bold and taking the initiative to make a plan or a goal, focus on it and smash it out of the park. And the Four of Cups indicates if you've been feeling bored or unfulfilled in your life, there's a surprise gift from the universe. Something that's going to make you more emotionally fulfilled. This is good luck. This is an omen. Now, as soon as I say omen, they show me the grasshopper again. So grasshoppers are, are good fortune. So I feel like if you're feeling like apathy or you've disconnected from your heart center, um, you're actually going to be a little bit more revitalized over the next four to five weeks. And... I feel like your expectations are going to be met this time. Okay, I'm just going to go one more, see if there's anything else. They just said go one more. Okay. Eight of Cups. Yeah, this time period is all about seeking greater meaning. Okay, Eight of Cups is like a journey of self-discovery. Letting go and seeking that deeper ground for yourself. Um, seeing beyond the superficial and, you know, it's okay to just walk away and say, I'm, I need space for me. Um, what happens is whenever the, fo the, the person in the Eight of Cups walks away from those cups, they stumble on the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment card. And you're getting all the wishes. So they're indicating, let go of the things that are not working for you um, and seek greater meaning in your life and everything starts to fall into place. Operate from the heart space, okay? Uh, Re-examine where you've been where you felt happiest. Okay, we're just going to get some final cards before we close your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. I cannot believe it. You got the dream catcher. <laughs> Libra, there is a, this is something else. To, to In all of these decks, to get the same cards indicating that a wish or a dream is coming true for you. Um, magic, I mean, this is unusual. This is very unusual. But you're being guided. There is someone walking with you. They're going to give you a sign. Uh, those circles with a piece missing is important sign, okay? 
um, that your guides are around you. Someone in spirit, someone that you know actually uh, walks with you. Uh, you will feel their presence. Uh, now we got dream catcher and it says dream outside the margins and solutions will appear out of thin air. Dream, signs, aspiration, desires, ideas. I mean, this very eloquently puts everything what I've said into context. I really feel like this is a, a prime manifestation period for you. We do have rejection, okay? So it says, let them turn their back on you. They aren't meant to be in your life. Ignored, no support, false promises. So if you've got anyone in your world who's doing that or something that someone is doing something that's not fair, um, I do feel like you actually overcome that and cut that situation out and I feel like they'll watch you rise they'll watch you have that glow up and they'll be sorry that they actually didn't support you or that they were unkind to you in some way I feel like success is your revenge in some way okay uh, we've got TP house expect change in your home a move or a new house member Retreat and relax, family, belonging. So I was picking up on this energy of perhaps wanting to relocate or move to, you know, uh, some sort of other area. So I feel like, you know, you will have a change in your circumstances in that area. So whether you're looking for a property to buy, all of a sudden one becomes available that's in your price range and you want to buy it. Could also be that there's someone visiting you or maybe someone you know uh, from your extended family has a child. Uh, but... I, Number 21 indicates new cycle energy. We've got magic. This is what is full. Uh, this time period is full of magic for you. We've got magic surrounds you and in you. Use your skills to protect yourself. Psychic, spells casted, sorcerer, witch. Okay. You are very, very intuitive at this time. And you have a lot of psychic gifts. A lot of you will actually be um, enhancing those gifts during this period and connecting to um, a lot of images. Um, They're actually showing me someone burning a note right now. That's what's distracting me in the water. Uh, someone burning a note. So either someone gave you a note or you're burning something from the past or perhaps some, some of you are doing a burning ritual over this supermoon period. So please take that as it resonates. I mean, it could be that you're like burning bridges with something. Uh, so I'm not really sure how that resonates. It's just out of the blue that image just came in the water. And of course we got harvest. Okay, sometimes the images in the water don't really mean anything in that moment. And then in about four to five weeks time, it means something. Okay, like I was seeing uh, for one of the readings, um, I saw like bubbles. And in another reading, uh, I saw like um, a piece of a puzzle and things like that. And I look at the comments. It takes me a long time to go through all of the comments, but I do go through them in the comments box below. And so many of you are like, oh my gosh, I saw the puzzle piece or I saw the bubbles right before the news. Uh, one um, person commented in the comments box below. It was amazing. Um, I said there was some really good news that was coming on in. And they said they saw all these bubbles and within 10 minutes, they got a message from a person that they went for a job interview, they got the job. So, you know, these things may not mean anything to you in the moment, but watch out for the next four to five weeks. And then suddenly you're like, OMG, that, I just saw that thing and now this is showing up for me. So just be mindful. So it's got harvest, okay? It says, you're about to receive rewards for all your hard work and dedication. Happiness, wealth, blessings, overflow. Um, so I feel even in these difficult times, you're going to find a way to Put yourself in a really good position. Some of you are going to be more resourceful than others, of course, um, but I feel it's a time period of really focusing on what's important to you. And it's almost like they're showing me if you set yourself a goal or a project, you're accomplishing it. You're not leaving anything unfinished. Okay. I feel like you're tying up loose ends, very productive uh, time period for you. Uh, and now let me just get some final cards. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Libras? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? We have perfect setting. Perfect setting and the big picture. Okay? So the perfect setting is almost like the time is right. The time is now for something. Um, the perfect, I mean, OMG. What is this? And a paintbrush? Another paintbrush? So a lot of you are going to be painting away. I mean, it could be DIY. It doesn't have to be like a, a Da Vinci uh, painting or anything like that. But a lot of you are very, very creative, have a lot of gifts. So painting is important. Now, 
I feel like yeah, I just feel like they're trying to highlight, see the big picture. It's about the energy that you give to a situation and that's the way that it grows. So if you feed fear, you amplify fear. If you feed positivity, you amplify positivity, okay? Again, easier said than done, but if we are in a cycle of fear or we're in a cycle of worry, um, it does start to build, okay? Um, so if you are worried about anything, of course, connect to friends or family, uh, thing, people like that. Drop a comment in the comments box below um, and, you know, we'll all sort of gather around and sort of like see how we can help in some way with advice or, you know, um, so always know that you're not alone. Now, quite a few cards popped out here for you, so I'm just going to grab them here. We've got Mystic, Shaman. There's something really magical about you wolf and pathfinder so we've got polar bear and mystic know that challenges make you stronger we already said that <laughs> have faith when you face adversity take time to rest dream and renew your strength embrace your psychic abilities you carry the shaman within that's interesting because then you've got the shaman card okay so as i said very connected psychically this is a time period where uh, the veil between worlds is the thinnest, so you're going to get a lot of messages, a lot of downloads from spirit. It says, you are the creator and the magician. You also got that card. There, use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Okay, and we've also got peacock vibrancy. So this is about standing out from the crowd. You're born to stand out. It says, you were, <laughs> you were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. They really want you to be aware of how brilliant you really are, my beautiful Libras, because sometimes you just don't give yourself credit um, for how awesome you are. Uh, you're always busy uh, thinking about other people or feeling responsible for other people or situations. And you're always so busy to even think sometimes. So it's about finding that balance. And we've also got Wolf Pathfinder. So bigger philosophical questions during this period. It says, release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Okay, that seven of wands definitely tells me that you have perseverance. Okay, you will get to where you want to go. Whatever it is, you're not giving up on this and you will accomplish it. Okay, you will climb that mountain, whatever that mountain is for you. Um, now I'm just going to get a rune before we close. First we got is the arrow. Okay, this is the warrior type spirit. Uh, warrior ruin there. This is all about moving forward, having courage, justice prevailing. Okay, we can see that there, justice prevailing. But it's also um, whatever you imagine, you're setting your target, you're setting your intention, and you're accomplishing it. And they want me to put this on the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so we got that there. Um, and also we have got, this one has been coming up quite a lot. We've got the hero, okay? So being the hero or heroine of your own story, you're in charge of your destiny but also you're reaching your full potential, okay? This is about freedom, this ruin, and it's also about things coming to a really positive conclusion. But there are always consequences for actions. So if you feel out of balance and you don't feel like using your energy to accomplish anything, that's okay. But know that there will be a cycle of change where you connect to that energy and you will feel like moving forward and feel a little bit more productive because the energy that you put into a situation, you reap the, the benefits and the rewards out of it, okay? And they want me to put this on the artist. So I really feel like they are trying to show you that it is how you visualize things going um, that actually attracts more good luck. So um, yeah, I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. A very complex reading because of course we're close to the super moon energy and sometimes my scrying and my channeling becomes a little bit bumpy and a little bit like staccato so i do apologize if it feels a little bit disjointed it normally happens around about super moon energy so just so you're aware um if something resonates in this reading for you please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when i update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading and that is very very important for me too thank you so much my beautiful librans love and light